Give her the beans, there's Sunny Bunny. Hey Chad, let's tell everybody what really what we're doing here today. We're up, obviously we're down in Key West and we're doing some fishing today. And we got, we're fishing a lot of different species, but I'll tell you, wow, it's a lot of work. You know, we've been down here a couple days now and just catching bait has been a huge thing. You got to go and get chum a lot. We got chum, like a whole cooler full of chum. <laughs> I mean, so you got oats in the boat, you got sand in the boat, you got chicken gizzards in the boat. What the heck is going on here? I, I thought it was... You know what, fishing at home, obviously you grab your shiver minnows, you grab a slip bobber, right? You grab a jig and a leech and away you go. Not for yellowtail. They're, uh, this species yellowtail snapper is just a delicious eating fish, Larry. Um, they're very smart though. They, uh, they, they come up, they get fished every day of the year. The 10, 10 fish per person bag limit. It takes a big mess. The guy with the biggest mess behind the boat wins the yellowtail. And that is something because we got two chum bags going back here. And let's tell everybody really what chum is, right? Basically ground up fish that you buy at the bait shop. It comes in big blocks. How heavy are them blocks? Well, I start with 25 pound blocks because they just burn slower. We got a bunch of seven pounders in there and we'll be adding those in as we go as we start running out of chum. You know, the water's 80 degrees, so it melts off fast. So the bigger the frozen block, the slower it burns. So we're just trying to make a mess out here and get these yellowtail to come up from 100 feet. There's a coral head right behind us. And when they do come up, it's an awful lot of fun. We're using chicken gizzards, right? Yep. Okay, and to get that gizzard down there, we're actually packing it in sand. And what's the reason to packing that in sand? Well, we don't do that every time. When we get them up top, we'll see these fish come up and they might hang up 30, 40 feet below the boat and they just don't want to come up. If the water's too clear, they okay. see the shadow of the boat. So then we'll take our chicken gizzard. And the reason why we're using chicken gizzard, Larry, is it imitates a little piece of chum. It's just a little red piece of meat. Okay. It looks just like a chunk of chum. So you float that back just on a small hook, 15 pound fluorocarbon, a 15 foot long leader, because these fish can see. They get chased a lot. They're spooky. When they don't come up all the way, we'll take the sand ball and bury our little chicken gizzard in it. Here in a little while, we'll do that. And you can lay that over the side of the boat and drop that thing down to their depth. Otherwise, the current takes our little piece of chicken gizzard too far back and we know the fish are right here. So we let her go down about 30, 40, wherever we think the fish are, and then you pop that sand ball and that sand ball has got chum and oats and fish oil mixed into it, so it lets out a lot of scent. And then they see that one little piece of chicken gizzard floating down there. And it's game on. And it's game on. All right, hang on to your heinies, everybody. Here we go. Bonita. Her name is Rita. The Bonita. Oh, 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 oh. What do you what do you got on there? Bonita. It would fight that hard. Oh yeah. I think it's bigger than you think it is. I can't believe a 13-inch fish can fight like that. No way. No, it's a mackerel. A mackerel? The old smackerel. Good fighter. A thrasher. Oh my. Oh, I wonder you didn't catch it off that time. <laughs> A mackerel. That's cool. Not much good for anything? Good for relief. Smoking. They don't smoke. What do you got going there, Mr. Bleaker? You're kicking my hinder. Another yellowtail? Yeah, well, you got to start somewhere. We need the big ones. Well, the big ones are down there. You're getting small. Oh, getting small. Getting small. You know, I finally learned a lesson. I was letting my line out and I had my rod tip up high and I could not get bit because there's so much current, you just keep letting that line out. And I was watching Bleeker and then there's a charter boat next to us. Everybody had their rod tips down. I'm a little slow to start with. 
and that made a big difference. At least I got bit. Oh. What do you got there? I, I don't know. You know, every time I think it's something giant because they fight like unbelievable. That is the cool part about salt water is the, the battle. Like it, the fight is unbelievable. Then you get the fish up and he's only like 15 to 20 inches. Like that, that was at home. I would say I had a 50 pound flathead on. I hope I got enough line on this thing. This ain't no 13 inch fish, buddy. Oh, that's a little, little. Oh. Oh, oh you son of a no good rotten little bellers. That looks like a better fish, my friend. Wow. Now we're getting things dialed in a little bit better. Now let's see if you can get them out without a shark taking them out on you. That's the whole trick. They're pretty. Yeah. Pink. Oh, pretty fish. Yeah, they're pretty. They're a lot prettier when they're 25 inches. <laughs> what do you have on now? Holy camoly. Barracuda? Yellowtail? Probably a good yellowtail. Well, if you can just get them it. off the bottom far enough for the sharks don't get them. Get a one. You won finally? Maybe. One out of ten? Not even that big. Holy man. I... <laughs> we got a double. Real big ones, but... Oh, what do you got there? Hold on to your hineys. Hold on to your hineys is right. Oh. Oh. Oh my, he is not happy with me at <laughs> all. I'm gonna loosen my drag. Oh my god! I can't even, don't touch the rod! Don't break your rod. I got something good here. <laughs> you got something good there. Oh, he's something weird. That means there's a shark or something on him. I wanna see a shark come right up and grab him. No, we don't. God darn it, you party pooper. That would be nice. Who's winning, Larry? Uh, I don't know yet. It's too early in the game to tell. So far, he's uh, he's definitely giving me a run for my money. No, can't bring it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! That was a great fight, too. Look at that. <laughs> that is such a cool looking fish. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. You know, that's the cool part about really fishing out here is like you never know what you're going to get, do you? No, you you know? know? You're it's trying like for one species. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good sometimes way to look at it. Sometimes it's nougat and sometimes it's caramel. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, you Chad. Yeah, They'll so what you what do we have here? This is a big bonita. Okay, and I gotta let this guy go, huh? It's a bonita, yeah. Wow. They're really not good for, they're good for bait. Yeah, that's about it, huh? Yeah, that's a good size marlin bait right there. Mar this one would be bait. I'd like to see the fish you catch with this one. Okay, um, my first bonita. Back in the drink with this guy. 